what, what's interesting in our world today is the state of health crisis that we face in spite of the massive medical system that we're living with. We have the most money going into healthcare than any country in the world today, and we have some of the worst statistics of healthcare. And I go, where's the problem? Obviously, if I keep investing in healthcare, I should get healthier. And the answer is, the problem is this. Conventional medicine is predicated on the pharmaceutical industry. That we find a disease, we anticipate the pharmaceutical industry, we make a magic bullet and deal with it. Yet it turns out, there are so few diseases that are actually organic. The diseases that we express mainly on this planet are due to the stress and the lifestyle. So if I go into a doctor with an illness and they look at me and say, oh, your machine is not working and I'm going to put chemicals into your body and fix it, well, that's a nice vision, except for the problem is over 90% of illness has nothing to do with an organic breakdown of the body. And that's why our reliance on the pharmaceutical industry is interfering with health care. And I say, why should the pharmaceutical industry interfere with our health care? And the answer is simple. The pharmaceutical industry is a corporate industry. Corporations. What are corporations? They're systems where people invest money so they can make a profit. I go, wait a minute. Healthcare is a profit-motivated industry? And I go, of course it is. People invest in it. The relevance is simply is this, is that the pharmaceutical industry makes money off of the medical industry. And as long as we are convinced that the answers to our problem in the pharmaceutical industry, then we will seek them as our healer. The problem is that most illness has nothing to do with that. I go, well, then why isn't medical school keeping up with the new information? And then I have to unfortunately admit that our healthcare system has been pre-opted by the interests of the pharmaceutical industry. I say I could heal with thinking and thought and energy healing, which is the new phase of healing. I go, why is the pharmaceutical industry against that? And the answer is simple. I can't unitize it and monetize it. How can you make a pill of energy? Can you sell me a capsule of energy? And the answer is no. Well then, is energy of relevance to the pharmaceutical industry? And the answer is absolutely not. Matter of fact, if they could eliminate all the energy, they would be very happy because then they'd be back to selling chemicals again. But most of the illness in our planet will not be resolved through chemical healing.